Thank you. We have a mini audience here because we have somebody very famous in the room. So welcome to Talking Live. Yes. So Henry Oe is yeah. a very famous Japanese pop star. We are lucky to have him. He is now living here in the United States and is making his name known as a very well-known and talented jazz artist. We're going to find out all about his background, how we're lucky enough to have him here. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to mention, I mm -hmm. want to thank our friends at Hotbit because they are having another auction on Wednesday night at 9. We'll make sure to have a link so you know more about it. And they are going to be auctioning it off some special Invicta watch. Right, Marvin? Is there something more we need to know about that? It is a grand octane with an Abilene dial. It is a statement watch. Mm -hmm. People will look at you and say, what is that? Yeah. So if you want another holiday gift or get yourself something special, check that out on Wednesday. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. You know, I have problem. to say, so of course I knew how well known you are and were in, in Japan, but it was very exciting to see our very own Heather get so excited. You asked oh, me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so surprised. For two years yeah. and was speaking Japanese with you and was very <laughs> starstruck. I just passed in the uh, hallway. Yeah. And uh, uh, can I do a. Um, Make, make a coffee or something oh. like that. And she tried to borrow from me. Yeah. So I was oh, right there in Japanese. I was very, I have to say, I didn't even know that Heather spoke Japanese until she was talking to you. <laughs> Thank so, you. You're welcome. Like, yeah. like that. It, yeah. was, it was great. Yes, Listen, you. you were mm. very, very famous, are very, very famous, but had a huge career as a pop star in the 80s and 90s. Oh, yeah. Um, my debut was uh, 1983 uh -huh. when I was 23, still a uh, university, you know, students. Wow. Yeah, first grade. And after, you know, kind of famous, you know, my generation know who I am. Yeah. I released uh, 48 singles, 27 full albums. Had a tour all over Japan so many times, wow. including um, a yeah, huge uh, Madison Square like that in Japan, yeah. you know. Um, and now I'm doing a jazz here. Yeah. Yeah, from Brooklyn. Yeah, from Brooklyn. I love it. <laughs> you were acting. You won mm -hmm. the equivalent of mm -hmm. a Japanese Grammy. I mean, so your music was part of commercial. So mm -hmm. you had a radio show. And I also come up with a commercial as a model. Yeah, as a what? Model. Just like oh, a as candy. a model. Mm, yummy candy. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and, and when you meet Senri, you just see his energy is just so lovely. And you're so humble. I mean, you really are, given all the success that you've experienced. You talk about learning jazz when you were very, very little. How old were you mm. when you started? Oh, uh, when I was 47. No. You started jazz when you were... In 47, oh, in, actually. In, in 47? Yeah. Oh, when you were three, though. Um, yeah, I, was, uh, 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 start, I started uh, piano yeah. cl classical training yes. uh, when I was three. Yes. But, you know, uh, when I was 15, I met jazz. But, you know, I couldn't learn completely. Uh, uh, that was too, you know, difficult for uh, me. And uh, for a while, I had been uh, uh, pop music uh, as, uh, you know, dancing, singing, and sometimes acting, uh -huh. you know. So when I was 47, after my mom's passing away... You talk I, about, let's, let's just go back, because mm -hmm. you made a significant 
life change. Not everybody would want to leave behind mm -hmm. a huge career where you're famous in your whole entire country and then move to another country mm -hmm. and switch careers and start all over basically. Switch language. Switch language. Yeah. I mean, and I'm so glad you speak English because my Japanese is not very good. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, my, your emotion is already so, Japanese. But you talk about a life change, that, mm. that this just didn't happen out of nowhere, but there were certain events in your life mm. that got you to question your path. Yeah, uh, my pop era, that was fun. And uh, obviously, I always you know, surrounding by a huge my audience yeah. that was lucky for me and I enjoyed everything and yeah. the whole happened to me. But a little by little, you know, pop music is uh you know, oh can I uh, yes. yeah like this, oh my god, it's yes. coming, you know, like that. Like other so, ones. Yeah, <laughs> this is pop other. music. This is pop music. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but little by little, getting old, and uh, my forties. Mm -hmm. After my man uh, passing away, was that sudden? Did she die? Was she sick? No, 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 I was sick and was old. Sick. But you know, she uh, was the uh, one who really loved to see my stage performance. Oh, yeah. I was listen to my music, but you know the pop music. A little by little, I, you know, start to feel different. Mm -hmm. Oh, and on the other hand, I remember how much I feel impressed to listen to jazz when I was a teen in my teen age. So, oh, yeah, the life is short and limited yeah. because my man, my man. Pass away. So, okay, what else? Oh, I want to go to New York to enter a music conservatory like a Juilliard or New School. How did you know about these schools? How did you know oh, about the New York? early 90s? But then, of course, I had an apartment in oh. Hudson Street. Oh, okay. So I learned the language a little bit. Uh -huh. So um, I know. Oh, the new school for jazz mm -hmm. location is it just below the uh, Union Square. Yeah. So, oh, that might be good. I started to uh, investigate a hit bingo mm -hmm. all from outside of USA. Uh -huh. I can apply. So I asked my uh, mentor, uh -huh. bass player, uh -huh. and we made a demo and sent to a uh, new school. And I got the... Uh, you know, approved. Yes, mm. you obviously did very well there and have come out with several albums. In fact, you created your own record album and your dog, Peace. Never. Yes, died. Peace Never Die. Is, it, is that the full name of your dog or is that the full name of your record label? <laughs> My dog's name is Peace, just okay. peace. Just peace. We have a picture of your adorable dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is my dog. And I love yeah. Dachshund. So yes, you she got older. Yeah. Yeah, spine problem, but oh. still, I like them kicking. Yes. You know. So adorable. And I see you light up when you mention Peace, and who's a therapy dog. Mm hmm. Yeah. She got a certification. She's educated too. Yeah. <laughs> right? She's educated too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is um, she bilingual? She understands Japanese and English. Mm -hmm. She does. Yeah. yeah, dog language. Dog language. Yeah, and English, uh -huh. Española, oh. and Japanese a little bit. Still remember. Pretty good. <laughs> so you created your own record label. What got you to do that? Uh, mainly uh, my uh, album releasing. Okay. And the first album, Quintet Boys, mm -hmm. Mature Slow, mm -hmm. when I was uh, fifty-two. Uh -huh. And after Big Bang Sound, uh -huh. Spooky Hotel, uh -huh. and after as a third album, Collective Scribble, and moved to a uh, fourth album, Answer Right, 
and ladies when boys and girls and so boys and girls is what came out in august mm -hmm. we're going to hear a little bit from that today but we don't want to rush yet we're going to get into that because fortunately senri is going to play two songs one from boys and girls i i always want to say when boy meets girl i don't know why <laughs> i think it's because i'm a relationship therapist so i'm always like when boy meets girl but don't listen to me Boys and, girls, boys and, and girls. boys and mm. girls and and we're also going to have a link up to your site so mm -hmm. that people can download the music on iTunes or get your albums and learn mm -hmm. more about you because yep. you also are now converting some of your pop music into jazz music mm -hmm. is that on this album boys and girls yeah see um this is the light place for view yeah bunch of people this is diverse uh -huh. city from all over the world oh, you okay. know my, um you know this is center so uh the jazz is here yeah first good for me but a little by little you know i am you know 58 almost 60. you I look have... amazing <laughs> you do i mean i didn't know how old you are you look amazing Oh, it's good living, good living. Yeah, I don't have so much time. So, uh, okay, I want to make my own piece of pie. Yeah. Uh, even now, the shape is a little too small. Mm -hmm. A little by little, my own pie. This is a Cindy jazz. Yeah. You know. So um, I started to do that. Um, oh, I am a very, very rare person who can do interpret pop, yeah. my own pop, into uh, my own jazz. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So your fans so, must be so excited. What happens when I you go so. back to Japan? Do they scream for you? Do they want the old not pop? The, not the screaming. You're not screaming? <laughs> yeah, but, what no. What they <laughs> We'll scream for you. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah, always welcome yeah. and warm and listen to uh, what I'm doing. Uh, you know, if I'm singing, if i uh, not that much, but, you know, if I'm talking, if i playing piano, they're listener always. Yeah. So I'm so uh, feel appreciated. Sure. Yeah, the January 2019 American tour. Oh, in Japan. Nice. So I can't wait. It. And what's really nice is there is a jazz club here mm -hmm. that's Japanese food and jazz. It's called Tommy Jazz. Yep. And I I love Tommy Jazz. I mean, we went there with friends. We had such a wonderful time. And you play there regularly, right? Mm, monthly. Yeah, monthly. Yeah, last Thursday. And in fact, I wanted to come on the day that you were playing and we could not get in because it was completely <laughs> packed. So all of your fans find you, but you play at the Soho Club. Where else do you play? Mm, Soho House. Soho House, I'm right. Kind of uh, exclusive hotel okay. club. Yeah. Um, there's, uh, yeah, so there are, I'm sure, many places that can benefit from your beautiful jazz, which you write all, all yourself. Correct? Mm, recently, uh, I'm working with a manager, okay. um, a lot of people, yeah. you know, a little by little. My pie is getting bigger, yeah. expanding, yeah. you know. And in the United States, uh, not only that, in Europe, I'm starting uh, the people surrounding my music yeah. is getting a little bit bigger. That's great. So, yeah. so you're moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm. We like to do something called the Quick Five before we get into actually hearing you play from your various albums. I'm just going to help fans here mm -hmm. and abroad get a little better sense of you. Okay, so what was your best childhood memory? Mm -hmm. uh, when I was a kid, I really hardly uh, remember uh, the sound of flute. Oh. Yeah, the flute from the uh, small car uh, selling ramen noodle. Oh. Yeah, that was sad, but a little funny, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah, but very simple, but sometimes feels、um, very sad. But sometimes, you know, it depends. You know, I love this.、Um, yeah, often I remember that phrase. You know. Yeah, this is a very strong sound. sound. Yeah, and、uh, come on, come on, join us and eat. You know,、oh. let's eat the、uh, ramen noodle. Ah,、uh, four, four, three, four. So you、yeah. were born a musician. <laughs> you know, yeah, to have、I、that as like a best childhood、so. memory. Yeah. If you had to pick a new name for yourself,、mm-hmm. what name would you pick? Ah,、uh, my memory. Means、uh, southern hometown. Okay. Yeah, and、uh, my hometown. Oh.、Okay. Yeah, and my younger sister's name, ten thousand、oh. hometown. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I would like to steal my younger sister's name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what because, is that in、uh, Japanese? What is that? Ah,、uh, Monday.、Oh, okay. Senri Monday. Like a comedian. How did she get the better name? How that happens? Um, <laughs> <the, laughs> I tried to seriously. Yeah, yeah, my my dad. Oh,、yeah. your dad. Is your sister in Japan or is she here? Ah,、uh, in Japan. Oh, she's in Japan. Yeah, she's living、uh, take care of my dad、uh, living、uh, nearby. Yeah. So it's lucky she's there、mm-hmm. to take care yeah, of him. Yeah. yeah. What accomplishment are you most proud of? Um, when I was thirty,、uh, uh, my album、uh, took the first place of Japanese grand,、uh, Japanese、uh, Billboard、uh-huh. chart. So that was,、uh, yeah, I、oh, really, that must have been really exciting. Yeah,、mm-hmm. uh, that's incredible. I can't even imagine what that would be like. Yeah, that must be fantastic. What's the most courageous thing you've ever done? In the commercial music world,、uh, popularity is always going down,、uh, up, yeah, to the、uh, top,、uh-huh. and what's the next is going down. Yeah, you know that stable is not impossible. Yeah, so up, down, up, down. Yeah, if we go down, we have to be patient. Yeah, and keep on, keep on, keep on doing. Right. Uh. Music, believe what I'm doing. Yeah, say it. You know, hear, so、yeah. after that,、uh, a little bit going up, that's proud. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's accomplish. So so yeah, the very actually, strong, being, powerful being, woman. See, I would have said the most courageous thing as an outsider is moving to another country and learning another language and just totally switching your profession. But it's interesting how you see staying patient. Is one of the things that is courageous. Yeah, you have a good point. You really do. If you could ask your pet piece three questions, what would they be? Three. Three questions for piece. Your your dog. Um, you love me. Do you love me? That's a good one.、Uh, you want to stay with me? Uh huh. And、uh, what you want? What do you want? I、mm-hmm. love that. Well, I know what we all want. We all want to hear from from you the first jazz song that you picked out for us. Tell us about the song that you're about to play. Yeah, this is、uh, called Wallaby Shoes. Okay.、Uh, I told you when I was 23. Yes.、Uh, this was the、uh, my single. Debut single. Oh! So I interpret into a singer jazz. Love it. So is is this on boys and girls?、Mm-hmm. And this is on your album.、Mm-hmm. And one more tune is very romantic one, small tiny one. So two tunes. I love it. I、okay. hope you like it. Please don't hold back.
Oh, one more. This is on what album? Next one from uh, Answers Right. I made this album with uh, Shira Jordan. Oh, terrific. Yeah, Lola and Kihan. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. The very secret spring. <laughs> Debut. Really, it is an yeah, honor. This is my debut. This is, yeah. So, this is Senri's debut, and also we're going to have a link up so you can find out how to get his albums, Boys and Girls, right? I said that right. Did I say that right? Yep. Yes, yeah, yeah. it did. And Boys there's and Spooky girls. Hotel and Collective Scribble, and you have many, many more. So, we'll mm -hmm. have a link up so you can find it and where you're performing live. So, we look forward to seeing you again, and Thank I look you. forward to hopefully seeing you live at one of those locations yeah and uh just let me know when yes, you want to come i'm to gonna let you know podcast. yeah i'm gonna take okay. a picture i'm gonna make a big announcement and we also want to remind you about hot bid on wednesday at nine o'clock so you can check that out the latest pool in victim watch thank you so much for joining us we're actually going to do a special later on this week so we'll see you then bye-bye